Hello friends, it's Mel with Made by Manny and Mel. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a fall tumbler. I'm so excited for the fall season, for Halloween, for the holidays in general. I know it's July in the heat of summer, but I'm thinking about fall. So hopefully you are ready for fall designs as well, because that's what we're doing today. We're starting it off with a simple, just super cute Hello Pumpkin mug. We did a peekaboo with some glitter, and I really hope you enjoy it and that you are inspired by the techniques I used in this tutorial. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for new videos every Tuesday and Saturday. Everything I'm using will be linked in the description box below as always. And of course, if you have any questions or anything about this tutorial or making cups in general, you can either comment down below or send me a message on Instagram at made by Manny and Mel. I am here to help you guys. So feel free to ask any questions and I will help you the best I can. The link for our Facebook group is also in the description. We are doing some super fun stuff over on Facebook. So if you want to join our group and take part in all of that, the link is down there for you. Okay, I think that's all. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to ask and I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's go. We're starting off with a fully prepped and painted morning mug from the Steel Magnolia. I used flat white spray paint from Rust-Oleum and we're going to do our base of alcohol ink. So I'm using a bunch of different inks. I'll have them all linked in the description box for you below. And we're using 91% rubbing alcohol. So I've got some in a little squeeze bottle here and I'm just going to coat my entire cup with this alcohol to help our inks flow a little bit better. This is similar to a tutorial I did way, way back um, with this kind of like waterfall rain technique with the alcohol inks. So we're doing pretty much that exact same thing. We're just using fall colors and of course a different final design outcome. <laughs> So I'm taking my inks just one by one and just doing some drops all over the cup kind of randomly. And with the alcohol on our cup, they're going to start to flow and spread and give us this really nice effect. We're kind of going for like a marble agate ink type vibe. The one thing I wish I would have done throughout this process is add a little more alcohol as I went and also hit it with my heat gun as I went. So I just added a bunch of color and then I did add some alcohol throughout the process, but not as much as I would have liked. And I did the heat gun like at the very end. So I would recommend if you're going to do this design, hitting it with your heat gun to move those colors around as you're adding color so it doesn't end up so stripey. That's the only thing I would change about this. My colors got a little stripey because I didn't move them around in between applying everything. Adding the alcohol will really dilute your design. And if you kind of aren't liking where it's going, you can always add more alcohol to dilute it and then add more color on top. So that's what I did towards the end of this. I added a little more alcohol, added some color, and then went in with my heat gun. And as you can see, it really changed how everything looked. So I would recommend doing that from the very beginning versus at the end, but it turned out good anyway. I let this dry overnight and once it was dry, I hit it with a really good coat of this Kamar varnish from Krylon and then I let that dry a few hours and went in with my first coat of epoxy. I'm using a little extra epoxy, applying it to the cup like normal, hitting it with my torch and I just did one coat before we went in with our stencils for our peekaboo. As long as your cup is smooth, you should be good to go. You don't need a super thick coat of epoxy. I cut out our stencils using Aura Mask stencil vinyl. This is my favorite thing to use for peekaboos because it keeps your lines really crisp and sharp, but it also removes super easily. So on one side of our mug, we're going to put our Hello Pumpkin wording decal. And this is the like regular decal that you would get. I will have the shop linked in the description below for this SVG. And we're going to apply that just to one side. And then onto the other side, I'm applying our pumpkin stencil. But the stencil for this is technically the offset of the SVG for the pumpkin because we are going to add some detail after we do our peekaboo and everything. We're going to do some really detailed like inlay offsets of the pumpkin. And then for the Hello Pumpkin wording, we're going to do just a regular like outline. So I will show you, of course, what I mean once we get to that step, but just wanted to explain why we have some chunky pumpkins on our mug. 
Once we've got our stencils applied, we're going to do a very light coat of this beautiful wine color from Rust-Oleum. And once that coat dries, I'm going to set up my glittering station to get ready to apply our glitter because we're going to do a second coat of our Rust-Oleum paint and then use that as the adhesive for our glitter. So you wanna make sure that your glittering is set up before you go out to paint because you wanna immediately come in and apply your glitter. So that's what I've done here. My paint is still wet and I'm taking Kruger from PDB Creative Studio and just covering my entire cup with this color. This is a super fine, really beautiful, like maroon, dark, dark red. And I initially was going to do the outside color like an olive green and then I thought maybe I'll go burgundy. So. Any of the fall colors will really work with this design. I'm going to let the paint sit and dry for just about an hour, and then I'm going to come in and peel off all of my stencil decals. It's really hard to pick up on camera, but I can kind of see the wording through my glitter a little bit. It's a little bit raised up and I can kind of find where I need to pull up my decals. But if you want to have a little bit more security in knowing where your decals are, before you do all of your spray painting after you've applied your stencils, you can do some little glue dots, you can use tacket glue dots, you can use hot glue dots, just so you can kind of find your decals once you've glittered. It'll give you a little raised up area for you to start to pick at to get your decal pulled up. So once we've got our stencils pulled up, I'm going to hit this with a coat of clear gloss spray from Rust-Oleum to seal in our glitters. Let that dry about 45 minutes, and then I went in with a coat of epoxy. I'm taking about 20 to 25 milliliters of epoxy. That seems like a lot for this small mug, but I want our mug to be pretty much totally smooth after this one coat because we're going to apply our offsets next. So I wanna make sure my cup is totally smooth. If you would prefer to do two thinner coats, you can absolutely do that. You just wanna make sure that you don't have any lumps or bumps or anything that are going to end up showing underneath those offsets. So I did my coat of epoxy, let it cure, and then I went over and lightly sanded to make sure that those spots where we're gonna put our offsets were totally smooth. I also cleaned up my rim to expose that thin line of stainless steel for our epoxy to adhere to. So I've got my offsets cut here. So basically what I did, I took my regular decal, made the offset like normal, and then I sliced out the regular decal from the offset, which is what leaves us with the outline. If you guys would like a detailed video on how exactly I do this with all my SVGs, I would be happy to do that. I can always do it in my Facebook group or anywhere, wherever you guys can watch it and reference it if you need help doing these kinds of things. So I'm just applying my offsets to my wording here. I'm using the hinge method, making sure that I've got my decal lined up as perfectly as possible because this is really thin and you want it to be lined up perfectly or it's gonna look a little wonky. Once I've got my outlines for my wording, I'm going to move on to the pumpkins. So like I said earlier, for the quote, we did just a general straight outline, but for the pumpkins, we're going to put the pumpkin detailing kind of inside the offset. So this is the regular SVG that you'll download. Um, I got this from Creative Fabrica. And I just cut this how you would normally cut the regular SVG, and we're going to place it inside the offset that we created when we did our peekaboo. So you're going to see that we've got a little bit of that ink peeking out from the outsides of our pumpkin, but I think it gives a really nice effect. You can see all the detail of the pumpkin, but it's still a little bit more zhuzhed up and nicer than just doing the regular outline of the pumpkin. So for the smaller pumpkins, these are really, really tiny, so I decided to reverse weed them. So basically what you would do is take out all of the little inside pieces, just like you were weeding like normal, and then apply your transfer tape Make sure it's really good and stuck on there. And then you're going to remove the backing and then weed out that excess like negative space basically. And you're left with your perfect decals weeded. So this is what I like to do if I have a super thin detail or a super fine, really small decal. Reverse weeding gets it stuck onto the transfer tape so it's less likely to pull up or get stuck or get messed up and that can be so frustrating. So. I'm a big fan of reverse weeding. Once I've got these applied on my cup, I'm going to go in with another coat of epoxy. And with this coat of epoxy, I'm going to add in a little bit more glitter on the top around where we did our decals. 
just to give a little bit more pizzazz. You guys know I like to add a lot of dimension and a lot of fun stuff. So we're going in with some different glitters just to give this top coat a little bit of a little extra bling because you know we gotta have that. So I'm going to start by applying about 10 to 15 milliliters of my A Little Extra Ink Epoxy and then I'm going to let that spin about maybe 5 to 10 minutes just so it can level out a little bit and then we're going to go in with our glitter. So I'm first taking Pumpkin from Peachy Olive Glitters and I'm going to start by doing just little pinches and sprinkling that all over the cup and then I'll go in and sprinkle it right out of the shaker. So next we're taking Levitate from PDB. This is from their newest glitter pack and oh my gosh it is so beautiful. It has so many colors in it. I am obsessed with it. And then I'm just going to take a couple little fall leaves that I've had forever and sprinkle them on here as well. Once I've got everything on there for my first little layer, I'm going to clean it up with a gloved finger, make sure that we don't have any glitter on the spots where we did our peekaboo. And then I'm going to just go back and forth, kind of shaking it on, spreading it out, making sure that it's placed where I want it to be. And then I'm going to let that spin and cure about six ish hours before I went in with my final coat. So for my final coat, I ended up using about 20 milliliters to make sure that this was totally smooth and we couldn't feel any of that glitter that we added in our last layer. And once that coat cured, we were all done. So this cup was so much fun to make. I am so, so, so ready for fall and fall designs and all of that. So stay tuned. I've got a lot of fun ideas planned for videos. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments. And if there are any tutorials or any designs you wanna see me do on this channel, let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for new videos every single Tuesday and Saturday. Thank you so, so, so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Okay, love you, bye.